What is up my hoes, my bros and my pimps, I'm Random Guy here and I'm bringing you a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay, oh my god! Modern Warfare 3, 50 and 10 using the tryhard ACR with recon and with hardline with assault. You know I'm sweating it out guys, I'll sweaten by the end of this like a sweaty Mexican. But anyway, that is not what the video is about. What the video is about is Black Ops, no it's not about Black Ops 2, I'm not that much of a view whore. But it's seven days till Black Ops 2, seven days! And this week is actually a bit of a cock blocker, a bit of a party pooper, because seven days um, ahead and there's um, Black Ops 2, seven days before there was something which I'm going to speak about the commentary about. But this week is just like a boring week, nothing much happening. Of course there's uh, like that shitty game where it's called Halo 4. Yeah, <laughs> two books to a reaction video um, when you got Halo 4 is really funny. It's obviously fake, but it's, it's really funny, he's a funny guy. And yeah, and week before, let's get started. And you might have noticed that last commentary I was really tired and monotone and oh my god, I wanted to kill myself, which wasn't a exaggeration at all. I was so tired. And the reason was because I went to a gig, and if you don't know what a gig is, it's where loads of people gather around and have a good time and jump up and down and go, yay, to the music. And if you don't know, um, the band we saw, or we as in Max and me, and if you don't know who Max is, um, <laughs> I did a dual con while back, about 3 o'clock in the morning, all a bit tipsy and a bit hyperactive at the same time, and it was the gayest dual con I bet you'll ever see on YouTube, and if you want to watch it and um, masturbate because you're gay or something, I don't know, um, but it's really gay, so um, yeah, it's a gay guy, so I went to Muse with the gay guy, and it was good, I mean, I'll go through the story about it, um, because... I don't know, it's it's an event in my life. I mean it's me and my twenty twelve, literally. Yeah, it's all, it was fucking awesome. So let's let's get started in chronological order because I know who has some O C B D people like, oh my god, you're starting with the end and then the start and ah uh, Um just to kill yourself <laughs> I know, but but basically the start was about six months ago or four months ago, something like that. It wasn't very long. Uh, my friend Max, he's a big Muse fan, he like, I like them, but he worships them, and when I mean worship, he's like God, he, he just worships Muse like God, he just bows down to him. Of course I've got as many Twitter followers as Muse, if you don't know who Muse are, they're banned, um, they're, pretty <laughs> they're pretty popular, I mean they go to the number one all the time, um, not nowadays, because you know, shitty music like Justin Bieber gets to the chop, um, to the chop, to the top, which everyone just adores, don't you just love Bieber, he's my, he's my babe, but Muse, they're a really good band, really popular, and they released their album Second Law, um, about a week, not a week, a month ago, um, it was about the 1st of October, something like that, and on the 30th of October, there was actually there was actually a bloody gig, and Maxwell was like, Yo, Lewis, I promised you two years ago that if I went to another gig about Muse, I'll take you. And here I am two years later, and I'm inviting you. And I went, yeah, fuck yeah. Um, it was actually at, like, the sleepover. We have, like, these sleepovers where we bum each other. No, we don't. But we bring PS3s around, and then we, like, play all day and party all night. But anyway, yeah, um, we had one of those, and he just asked me before everyone else came, because there's about three or four of us who go. And I was like, yeah, I wouldn't mind going. So it was awesome. And that is that. Um, and then skip two months later until the 30th of October. And it was there. Bam. Bam. It was the day that we've all been waiting for. And actually, on that day, it was a year anniversary of my channel. So um, happy birthday to my channel. But um, back to the news topic. And when I saw, when I first thought of, you know, when it hit me that I was going to Muse, I was actually pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie, because the only concerts I've been to before were at my school, and you can imagine it's my school, so it's gonna be pretty darn, you know, shit, and I've never been to a proper one where, you know, there's 18,000 people, according to Radio 2, 18,000 people all in one stadium, not even that big of a stadium, all together, jumping up and down to music, and I'm not gonna lie here, I'm I'm pretty much an introvert, I relax by going alone, um, do something on my own, like when I was younger, um, my mum and dad would just say, oh come on Lewis, just relax, Lewis just relax, come on, but I was like, oh I'm surrounded by people, I can't relax, and it makes me sound really awkward and antisocial, but I'm not, I'm just, if you know me, I'm not antisocial at all, um, I like to speak a lot, and I like to speak my opinion, but, 
you know, I'm very introverted, extremely introverted, so introverted that um, you could call me a loner, <laughs> but I'm not a loner at all. I have loads of friends, and we're going off topic here, so I'm very extremely introverted. If I'm surrounded by a lot of people, I'm like, ah, oh my god, I'm li I freak out, it's just people around me, it's ugh. But anyway, um, all these people around me, I was like, yeah, what if I don't like music that much? I know I listen to the music a lot, but what if I don't like it? What if, like, I'm the awkward guy who's not jumping up and down? And thank god that wasn't the case. Um, the support band went on. Is it called a support band? I think it is. And they were alright, I mean, they were quite... They knew they were the support band, they were like, they knew that they weren't going to get a lot of praise, you know, a little clapping around of applause, but, um, applause, but when news came on, and before we got there, we, we, we queued up for about two hours before they were actually on, and, um, in this queue, because we're standing, I re highly recommend you stand, um, when you see a gig, I highly recommend you do, um, because you get the full atmosphere, you can, and if you get close to the front, you can reach out and touch them, which is always which is always a bonus. <laughs> but um, what happened is I went and did Tom just get a triple there? Oh my god! Ah! Oh, Twelve seconds later. Ah! Oh. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I I was standing at the front and you know everyone was clapping for the support band when Muse got on. Fucking hell. Those girls like breaking down like oh my god. This is fucking awesome. Oh my god And I loved it. It was absolutely fucking amazing and to be honest, I don't regret it at all um, I was jumping up and down I was doing my thing and when you find that band that you like and you just adore then I don't care. You don't care if you're socially awkward. You don't care if you're introverted. You'll jump up and down for fucking days and that is the message of this commentary, YOLO. Just YOLO everything. Max, what he did, there was a mosh pit as well. And as we're jumping up and down, he went YOLO. This jumped into the mosh pit. But afterwards, I had that buzz. It made my 2012. It made me a better person. It made me more confident. Even now, I get a buzz even just thinking about it. But I'm a random guy here. Remember, YOLO is the key to life. And if, if, you, if you are socially awkward and get invited to a gig, fucking go. Even if it's just one. If it's a band you like, I don't fucking care who you will. You will love it. I'm Random Guy. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. I'll be co doing commentaries three times a week now because I always keep my promises, lol jokes. But anyway, hope you all have a sexy day and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.